How's it going, fellow Lost Ark enjoyers? My name is Deathboy, and today I'm going to make a roster review for my roster. Show you how long I've been playing the game, my characters, my progression, what I plan to do in the future for my roster, etc, etc. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright, so as I'm recording this video, it is 2am, maintenance is at 1 hour. I know it's degenerate to be up this late, but that's just who I am. So what I want to go ahead and show you first is the hours I have in Lost Ark. Uh, let's see here. Yep. So I have about 8,700 hours. Just call it 8,700 to round up. I have been playing since the inception of Lost Ark in the West. I was a day one gamer. I bought the Bronze Founders pack. And, uh, and yeah, I've been playing since day one. What I'm going to show you on screen now is a picture of my roster on 6 of 2022. And as you can see, it looks much, much different than my main six today. And I'm going to explain why here in a moment, but I just want to show you a picture of my roster back in 6 of 2022 compared to now. Uh, as we can see here, we have a 1620 Paladin, 1620 Zerker, 1600 Scrapper, 1600 Shadowhunter, a 1551 Berserker, and a 1584 Paladin. I'm going to go ahead and log into each one of these characters and show you how many bound mats I have and, you know, what I plan to do, what's my favorite character, etc., etc. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my Paladin first, and I'm going to explain why I pushed a Paladin. So when Ivory Tower came out, my Berserker was 1620, my Scrapper was 1600, my Shadowhunter was 1600, and this Paladin was 1600. And since my Berserker was 1620, which was 1620, I think a few weeks before Ivory Tower came out, uh, I got into a hard mode group fairly easy for the first three weeks of it coming out. On the fourth week, I could not find any lobbies at all. And it was pissing me off to the point to where I wanted to quit the game. Um, but fortunately, someone messaged me on Discord and said, hey, do you want to join our static? And that person was kind enough to let me into the static and I rate with them to this day. And to contribute to the static, I'm like, you know what? Why don't I just push this paladin to 1620? So I used every single source of gold I could scrap up. I sold all my bound mats. I even took a two level nine gems from the scrapper. Uh, three level nines from the scrapper actually and sold them because this is an ult I'm not going to push anyway. So I was like, I'll keep a few level nines on there and just take three level nines off, sell them. And then that was enough to fund the rest of my honing from 16. Uh, I think I started at 1605 and then went to 1615. And then about a week afterwards, I was able to get to 1620. So, uh, so yeah, um, that's, that's why I pushed this paladin. I'm just tired of the support shortage. I'm tired of dealing it, dealing with it. So I figured I might as well make a support so I can at least, you know, do a support trade or something like that with with the future raids that come out. So, uh, yeah, and 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 I I really don't dislike Paladin at all. It's not like a like people say it's boring, but honestly, I don't mind it. Um, here, here's my bill five by three plus one with Crisis Evasion. I have old, almost eighteen hundred swiftness. Uh, full level 7 gems, but they're not on right now. They're in my roster storage, which I'll show in a second. But yeah, this is my Paladin. And then my second would be my Berserker. The bound mats I have on this Paladin are about uh, about 800 Leap Stones almost, uh, about 14k Destruction, and about 21k Guardian. So I don't have that many bound mats, and that's because I got the 1620 a few weeks ago on this Paladin, right? So yeah, that's that's my Paladin. And that's why I pushed the Paladin. Let's move on to the Berserker next, which is considered my main character. Alright, so this is my Berserker. This was the very first character I created when I logged into Lost Ark for the very first day. I created a Berserker and I named it Death Boy. And by the way, in case anyone is curious, I'm on the NA East region. I play on the server Galitzer. That's what I play on. Made a Berserker, day one of pre-launch. I've been playing it ever since. I have swapped the main a few times, and I'll talk about that here in a moment, but I just want to show you my Berserker. Um, the quality of these accessories are relatively decent. This ring could definitely use some work, but it's kind of expensive. Uh, the stone is a, is a 8.6, nothing special. This is my quality. Basically blue, two blues, and rest are purple, right? 5x3 um, plus 1, with plus 1 being either Predator. And you can't see my gems right now, and also I'll go over my card progression here in a moment. 
Uh, if I open up my roster storage, I have these gems in here. And the reason why is because I have multiple berserkers and I also have multiple paladins. So I just keep them in here and I swap them around. See, I have two level 10s on Berserker, rest are 9 except a 7 cooldown. What I plan to do for the next few weeks is to take all my gold, buy two level 9s, and then take a 9 from my existing gems, and then re -roll, and then roll it into a, a 10 and see if I get damage or cooldown. I'm basically gambling, but I'm trying to convert from 9s into 10s because I feel like they mine is going to be very gate gatekeepy when it comes out for normal or for hard. So yeah, that's my... That's my uh, it's my berserker. It's been here since day one. Let me show you my card progression real quick. Now, LOS Dirty is kind of a funny story. I got LOS Dirty around 6,000 hours into the game. If I did card runs every week on all like 14 of my characters, I went really sweaty with it. I could have got it much sooner, but I procrastinated on it very hard. When I got to LOS 28, or 20, I think it was 28. Um, this was when a con was out. So it might have been 7,000, six, maybe 6,000, 7,000 hours, something like that. But when a con, when a con came out, I did not have LOS 30. And I feel like that's why I was getting gate kept from these normal mode lobbies when my characters were 1580 on release. So when I was at like LOS 28, so close, I, I gave in, I went to the shop, I swiped. Yes, I swiped. And I bought the the card pack, uh, the like the big one that gives you like a bunch of uh, legendary to epic, a legendary to rare. I bought that, and I actually got the last few cards I needed, and I finished LOS thirty. That was week one after a con coming out. It's when I got LOS thirty. And for how long I've been playing the game, that's kind of pathetic. But like I said, I procrastinated very hard, and I got very unlucky. I, I kept getting cards I didn't need back to back, and it was it was it was so annoying. I, I hate this system so much, but. But yeah, LOS 30 there. And then if we scroll down, uh, Lost Wind Cliff, I actually got this the day the Golden Frog came out. This Golden Frog here, the day it came out, which was last week, is when I got LOS, or sorry, Lost Wind Cliff 30. I finally completed it. It took me a long time to complete because the game would literally not give me King Thyrain. I was not getting it whatsoever. I kept getting Shandi and... Azena and Nineveh when I didn't need those cards anymore. So it's kind of frustrating, but I finally got uh, Lost Wind Cliff 30. And then if I go over my demon damage here, my demon damage is kind of pathetic for how long I've been playing the game. It's only at 4.7%. There are people who've been playing uh, just as long as me, or even with smaller amount of hours that have more demon damage, right? But I didn't push demon damage until I got LOS 30. I, I didn't want to waste card XP, right? So... I wanted to make sure I had enough card XP so that when I got all my cards, I could just get LOS 30 and be done with it. So d demon damage and beast damage is kind of low, but you know, it is what it is. I'm working on it, right? Don't don't judge me. So yeah, um, I want to talk a bit about this scrapper. This scrapper was my main when Broshaza, sorry, when Broshaza came out, normal mode, Scrapper became my main. I was a shock scrapper main. This sh when a con came out, this scrapper was at fifteen ninety and the berserker was at fifteen eighty. Uh, one month before a con came out, this scrapper was at fifteen ninety. Berserker was at fifteen eighty. When I first played shock scrapper, I, I loved it, but I started getting annoyed with it over time. The one skill chain destruction fist it kept pissing me the fuck off, and potent rising piss also pissed me off. So um, a, a few weeks uh. I wouldn't say a few weeks. I'd say uh, a bit after a con came out, I was like, fuck this. I made Berserker my main. Went back to Berserker main. Scrapper is now Taijutsu, and I'm actually enjoying it. I, I I haven't played Shock since the balance patch, but Taijutsu is pretty fun. I like it. But yeah, I don't know if I showed you all my bound mats here, but I have 2,300 leap stones, uh, about 25,000 destruction, and 84,000 guardian stones right so i have, I have a few f a few bound mats on this guy so yeah and let's move on to the next character which is the scrapper all right so this is my scrapper this is the scrapper y'all see at the outro of my videos from my raid guides uh this is my scrapper it is a five by three plus one plus one ether predator it probably could be plus one adrenaline but uh i feel like this crit's kind of small but i i went high swift almost high swift so i can get the iron cannon blow 
uh, within uh, two rotations within the synergy, but that's kind of a tight on. It's kind of tight, honestly. But I, I don't know. I, I was told this was the best. So I went with this. But whatever. Uh, my, my my gems aren't that good. I have four level nine gems. The rest are sevens. But this used to be like um, three nines used to be here, but I took them off to sold, sell them to hone my paladin. So. So yeah, this is my scrapper. I have a lot of bound mats on this scrapper. I have almost 3,700 leap stones, 52k destruction, and 83k guardian. So this guy has been part basically since like week four of a con being out. I've not honed his character much at all. Uh, so yeah, that's my scrapper. Don't want to talk too much about it. You know, it's my scrapper. It's not like something I'm pushing. So, and, and yeah, it has an eight six stone. So yeah. And move on to the Shadow Hunter. All right, this is my Shadow Hunter. It has 1700 bound leaps, 13k destruction, and 54k guardian. It is 5x3 plus 1, two level 10 gems. I went demonic. Originally, this guy was perfect suppression since Clown came out and has been perfect suppression ever since, up until right before the balance patch. I went demonic, and I've honestly been loving demonic ever since. Perfect Suppression was really fun, but running out of mana was so annoying, uh, and I, I was playing the Entropy version. I know that the Dominion or Nightmare or whatever version is really popular, and I haven't tried that at all, but I'm really loving Demonic so far. I think it's fun. You know, it's an easy class, easy to play. You don't think much. You just press your buttons. It is what it is, so really like this character. Uh, the quality isn't amazing or anything, but, you know, it's 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 all right, and this is an 8-7 stone. You're gonna see that a lot throughout this roster. I have a lot of like like if I just show you here. Uh this Shadow Hunter is a few good stones. Uh this is a seven seven, nine six. And I think the rest I deleted. But yeah, I have a eight seven, a nine six, and a seven seven. And the reason why I did this, by the way, is because I was just I was just fucking stupid when I was doing this. Like I don't know what the fuck I was doing, but but yeah, that's uh that's that's my shadow hunter just an average level 10 shadow hunter 1600 no 35 40 set in fact i haven't cut any elixirs for quite a few weeks only on my paladin or my berserker uh i just don't bother cutting epics it's it's boring to, to cut epics so yeah there you go i'm not gonna log on to this guy i'm not pushing this guy this guy's nothing special uh so i'll just move on to this paladin all right so this is the second paladin in my roster uh, he doesn't have full of concept yet. I'm missing the gloves and the weapon, which I should have in the next few weeks. Uh, it's just an average 5x3 build. I need to uh, transition this build into Magic Stream with a plus one crisis evasion, but I'll do that in the future. Um, and, and yeah, it has exposed weakness on it, but has expertise as a substat, which I should change, but it's hard to replace this bracelet, I'll be honest. I've been trying to. Uh, this has a 7-6 stone, and the quality is, is piss poor on this ring, and that's just because I cheaped out. But uh, I promise you this support will not be a cheapo forever. I'm going to upgrade it in the future. Uh, so yeah, this is my second pallet in my roster, and will stay my main 6 for the indefinite future. If we look at the bound mats here, I have a 1,000 bound leap stones, uh, 11k destruction, and 22k guardian. So yeah. That's uh, that's that's my paladin. Now we're gonna move on to this death blade here because this death blade is very special. All right, so this death blade, supercharge re. This was in my main six, um, up until I believe. I believe. Uh, I think it was yeah for when when Kyangle came out, and we had to push characters at fifteen eighty for Kyangle hard mode. Uh, this Deplay stopped being in my my main six when I started pushing characters up, and I benched this Deplay. And the reason why is because honestly, I don't like Deplay. I, I just don't. Even though it's my main six for a while, I'm just not a fan of charging up skills. I I don't like charge up skills at all. I'm not a big fan of them. Now I know you're gonna tell me Deplay does an instant cast already built. I'm aware of that, but I know it's harder to play. It has less uh, like meter generation and whatnot from what I've heard. And of course, I can go Surge. I heard Surge is pretty easy now. But I haven't played Surge since Vicus was launched. Vicus got launched. I played Surge and 
missing my surge in old Vicus Gate or Vicus Gate One now, which used to be Vicus Gate Two, was fucking annoying. I just hated it so much. So uh, I I I just went to RE and I've been playing it ever since. But now it's a low ping, right? Um, ninety two quality weapon. Everything else here is kind of average. Five by three level five gems. You know, like I said, I'm not investing into this character. But what makes me want to invest sometimes is this stone right here. I cut a 9-7 best in slot stone on stream. I was getting so pissed off with the death blade. I'm like, fuck it. Let me just cut a few stones and let's just see what I get. Well, maybe I get a 9-7 and it'll change my mind. I got a 9-7. I was excited, but then I got pissed off because I'm like, fuck, I, I could have got this on any other character. <laughs> so uh, th there's my luck for stones ever again, unfortunately. But yeah, that's a 9-7 that's a on my Death Blade, which really makes me want to try to push this character, but it, it wouldn't be good for my roster because my roster, it's already established at this point. So to go back and waste gold to push this character up would just not be feasible for me. When I'm not a whale or anything. I have swiped a few hundred or like maybe a thousand or two in total. But I'm not a whale by any means. And I don't really want to spend more money on this game. I really don't. Uh, I feel like I can get by just fine with how my roster is without swiping. So I'm just not going to swipe. Now this character does have a lot of bound mats though. Has 40,000 destruction and 106,000 guardian with 7.3k leap stones. This death blade was 1540 right before Belshazzar hard mode came out because Belshazzar hard mode gate one and gate two entry uh were 1540 so this this character has been parked at 1540 ever since Belshazzar hard mode came out and it's just been there ever since so yeah that's my death blade in his soul eater i'm not going to log on to it uh this used the express event engravings and once the express event expired i realized that you know what while Soul Eater is cool and all, it has a full of con set. I really, really don't want to cut another stone. I don't want to buy accessories and buy class books. I don't want to invest all that gold into Soul Eater when it's fun. I was playing Full Moon, not Night's Edge. Full Moon. I haven't tried Night's Edge, but it, 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 it's just not it for me. It's not. It, it was really fun in the beginning, but it's just a, 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 after some time, I'm like, eh, I'm not a, not a big fan of it. Now, if we scroll down. We have this Berserker here, uh, which has a 100 quality weapon, by the way. Pisses me off, but it does. And actually, most everything is 90 quality on this Berserker. So it's it's better than my main Berserker, but not by much. And then we have um, this Slayer here. Now, the interesting thing about this Slayer is that I made Slayer when it came out, and I went all fucking in. I was like, I'm going to play Punisher. I'm going to go... Big dick damage. I, I bought a few level ten gems uh, by selling literally everything else in my um, on my roster uh, except my main character. I, I sold a bunch of other shit and bought bought ten gems. I saved up gold for weeks. Uh, I, I I even I even bought twenty Punisher books day one when the price was like twenty k. I went all fucking out. I went all out, and then I decided that I fucking hate Punisher. I fucking hate it. <laughs> so um. Like months and months later, I rebuilt the Slayer to be Predator instead. And Predator is really fun. It, honestly, I love Predator a lot. I really do. More than I enjoy the Scrapper, I'll be honest. But I don't think I'm ever going to push the Slayer. So the Slayer is just staying there as a low paying. It is what it is. Now, these Paladins, I want to talk about these Paladins. I created three Paladins when Brushaza normal mode was the current content. And the reason why is because. What, like my work schedule I got off at midnight and I literally cannot get into a fucking lobby everything was looking for support looking for support looking for support so I'm like you know what fuck this I'm just gonna make paladins so I made paladins and uh then I realized my play wouldn't go so well because you know it costs gold to hone and to cut and, uh, and, and cut stones and, and get it and get accessories so my plan didn't work out too well but this is what I'm going to get into next. When the Express event comes out in March, I'm taking this Paladin right here, and he's going to go right up and replace this Berserker. So I'm going to have three Paladins in my roster. This guy will hit 1580 easily. He has so many mats. Um, so uh, three Paladins in my roster with three DPS that I that I enjoy for the most part, 
right? Pr- pretty big fan of these three classes for the most part. So uh, this Paladin here will replace this Berserker. It'll be 1580 very easily. It'll probably be 1580 day one of the Express coming out. I'll do a con. Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll do everything else to complete the Express event. So, yeah. And, and, and I even went as far as to uh, save all these mats here from the Birthday Bash. I haven't claimed anything at all uh, because I'm deciding what to claim it on. I think I'm going to put it on that Alt Paladin just so it can hit 1600 pretty quickly. And it can start doing Voldis and, you know, be like a like like a little ivory tower slave for the epic elixirs and whatnot. So, so yeah. This is my roster. Um, everything else down here is a low paying. I literally don't play these characters at all. I mean, these characters I hardly play anyways. The the Slayer and I, I used to do Chaos Dungeon and all these characters every single day for a very long time, but then it, it kind of burned me out, so I stopped doing that. Uh and, and and even some of these characters are rested because I've just been busy, right, with work and also making videos, so and I haven't even done all my raids. Uh, I still have to do Gate 4. Uh, I have to do uh, Clown and Kyangle and Brushaza on this person and Brushaza on this person. And also, Ivory, I haven't even done Ivory Tower this week on, on the Shadow Hunter. So, yeah. So, I, I mean, you know, but it, it's not a big deal for me. But, but, yeah, my plan going forward is to take this Paladin, hone it out to 1580 with the Express event, you know, deck it out, and then. Um, once it's at like 1600 once these two paladins are 1600 this one and this one i'm gonna stop honing for a very long time when the kingdom comes out i will then start to hone these two characters up to 1630 so i could do they mine hard and echidna hard everything else would be a low paint this game is starting to be kind of uh, fuck man this game is starting to become a one character main where you should focus on one character only because honing is just starting to get more and more and more expensive. Even though the raids we get give us more gold, it's, it's not enough to just make logical sense. Like if you have six 1620s, I'm sorry, but you're probably swiping or maybe I'm just playing the game different. Who who, who knows, honestly, but I'm, I'm not really efficient. I'll be, uh, I'll be real. Uh, but yeah, for, for me personally, I'm going to focus on these two characters and that's it. I have a Berserker, I have a Paladin, going to bring them up together. Everything else will just be chilling at 1600. I might bring them up to 1610 so I could do Thaimon in the future. Just to do Thaimon more per week because it seems like a really cool raid. But that's about it. Every, like These two characters will be my main character for the indefinite future. I'm not going to make a breaker. I'm not interested. So so yeah, that's my uh, that's my roster. And also, let me just show you all real quick my my collectibles here you're, you're gonna laugh at me i know but uh my collectibles are very poor i don't like horizontal content i i think it sucks so yeah horizontal content not a big not a big fan of but but yeah that's my that's my roster review uh, i'm not sure what else to include in here i'm not sure how other content creators have done their roster review i haven't watched them i just see videos i'm recommended but i mean th- th- this is my roster review uh like I said, my plan is to keep buying level 9s each week to fuse into level 10 of my Berserker, get this Paladin to 1580, and then just park for a while and just save up a fuck ton of gold. So yeah, that's about it. That's my roster review. I hope y'all enjoy. Peace.